Hello friends. So once again welcome to my channel. And here also we will continue with solving the numericals on mapping functions. So the numerical is like this. This is a very interesting numerical. You see. Consider a 16 way set associative cache memory. Right. 16 way set associative. That means in a set 16 blocks are there. The size of the cache memory is 512 KB. Right. And there are 11 bits are there in the tag. We, uh, we need to find the size of the main memory. So see here only associativity is given, total size is given and tag bit is given. We need to find out the uh, main memory size. So what we will do is we will again proceed with this one. The memory is byte addressable and see we will assume that in the, say, in the cache memory 2 to the power x, um, the number of sets in the cache is 2 to the power x, right? Let the number of sets is 2 to the power x and let the size of a block is 2 to the power y. Here see these bytes will not become because it is a number. Let the number of sets in the cache is 2 to the power x and the size of a block is 2 to the power y. That means what? Set field consists of x number of bits and the block field, the word field consists of y number of bits. This is for my assumption I have taken, right? So the next is what we know the size of cache memory is what? The number of sets into what? Way number into the block size, right? So see here we have been given the size of cache memory that is what? 512 KB that is in terms of bytes it is 2 to the power 19, right? And the number of sets is what? 2 to 2 raised to the power means x to the this is 2 to the power x and then way number is what 16 16 i have written 2 to the power 4 right and the block size block size is 2 to the power y bytes right so this equation we have got now see the whole thing we can rewrite as what the x plus y because these are what x plus y plus 4 na? 2 to the power x plus y plus 4 so i can write x plus y equal to what 19 minus 4 that is what 15 and this I have given a name as equation 1 right now we need to find the size of the main memory size of the main memory to find the size of the main memory we will find the length of the main memory address it consists of three components tag bits set field and the word field we know the tag field it is 11 bits and set field we have assumed it is x and word field will be y bits this is our due to the assumptions we have taken. So now see x plus y value we can take it from this equation. So here we can write 11 plus 15 right. That 11 plus 15 if I write it will become what 26 bits. So if the main memory address consists of 26 bits then the size of main memory will be what 2 to the power 26. It is bytes because the memory, the memory is byte addressable. So, the size of the main memory will be 64 MB. Hope you are getting from this. See, what we have done is, we have taken initially two assumptions that the number of sets is 2 to the power X and the size of a block is 2 to the power Y bytes, right? Then, we know size of cache memory is uh, product of these three quantities and we don't know their exact values. Simply, we have put 2 to the power X, 2 to the power Y and way number is known to us so we have written it then solving it we got x plus y equal to 15 this part is very simple next main memory address length is what summation of these three right summation of all these so this known value this unknown value we have written then this x plus y already we know this is equal to 15 we put it here and we got 26 bits this was in fact a very interesting numerical right we'll try to solve one similar one right so next one is it is given consider a four way set associative the size of the main memory is given this time size of the main memory is given and 11 bits are there in the tag we need to find out the size of the main memory right so again we will assume the number of sets in the cache is 2 to the power x it is not bytes and this is my mistake only 2 to the power x then the size of a block is 2 to the power y right now see main memory address Size of the main memory is 64 MB. So what will be the length of the address? Express it in powers of 2. It will be 2 to the power 6, 2 to the power 20. That just we did it. 
so 26 bits will be there in the total address length this address consists of what tag set and what field these two will be x and y because of the assumptions taken and this is 10 it is 11 actually it is given as 11 so 26 minus 11 will be your 15 right this is given as 11 so it is 26 minus 11 this is 11 you need to take so x plus y equal to 15 this will get now see what is the size of cache memory same example number of sets into way number into block size see this is what number of sets is 2 to the power x way number is 2 to the power 2 and your block size is 2 to the power y if we solve it see it will become 2 to the power 2 plus x plus y so x plus y from here we can take that is 15 so it is 15 2 plus 15 is 2 to the power 17 2 to the power 17 means what 2 uh, this is 128 kilobyte 2 to the power 10 is kilo and 7 is 128 so it will be 128 kilobyte right Hope this also you are getting both the numericals are same only once we have find out the size of main memory second time we have find out the size of cache memory but this concept should be very clear we should know these things properly then only it will become easier and the concept of this powers of 264 is 2 to the power 6 then these things we need to know properly next one simple numerical will solve see here a computer has a 256 kilobyte four-way set associative cache. 256 kilobyte is the total size of the cache memory. It is set associative in four-way. That means in a set, four number of blocks will be there. And it is a write-back cache. That means what? There will be a dirty bit. Because we are not simultaneously writing it back to the main memory also. Dirty bit will be there associated with every block. Initial, then write-back data cache with block size of 32 bytes block size is given the processor sends 32 bit addresses so main memory address is 32 bit to the cache controller each cache tag directory entry contains apart from your address tag in the address some tag bit will be there that will identify how many blocks of the main memory will go to the same set number in the cache that is this part apart from tag we used to store some more data in the in every block like your valid bit so here two valid bits one modify bit dirty bit another name is modified bit one replacement bit whenever we do replacement for that also we require some information for that we are keeping one bit it is given now they are asking us what is the width if the tag field and the size of the what is the uh, width of the tag field it is of the not if the of the tag field and the size of the tag directory so these two things we need to find out so let's start what we will do see it is given now block size is 32 bytes 32 bytes means 2 to the power 5 bytes so what field will be 5 bits right then it is given total size is given block size is known so we can find out number of blocks in the this one what is that uh, in our cache memory so uh, see number of sets in the cache we need to find out that will be what number of blocks in the cache divided by way number this we know and next what is number of blocks in the cache total size of the cache divided by block size and this part is from second part means this one is way number is coming now see size of the cache memory is given as what 256 kilobyte divided by block size that is 32 byte right this whole thing will divided by way number to get the set number. So it is 2 to the power 18 because this is 8, this is 10, this is 5, 2 to the power 5. It is 2 to the power 2. So ultimately it will be this divided by this is 2 to the power 13 divided by 2 to the power 2. It will be nothing but 2 to the power 11. That means in the case 2k number of sets are there, right? So this is done. Now see we need to find the tag field. So what is tag field? How can we find out? We know the main memory address consisting of what? 32 bits. That is equal to tag field plus set field plus what? What field? So total address length is given 32. Set field we know 11 bits. What field is your 5 bits? So this minus this will be your 16 bits. So tag field length will be 16 bit. So this 16 bit is contributing to this address tag. Please understand address tag. 
Now, along with address tag, you are storing some more information. That is 2 plus 1 plus 1. Another 4 bits, right? So, as a whole, it will be 20 bits tag, right? Your tag width will be 20 bits. And what is the size of directory? Tag directory, it is nothing but number of blocks in the cache memory multiplied by the bits consumed for the tag field. So, it is here 20 bits. How many blocks are there? That is 2 to the power 13 blocks are there, right? So, 2 to the power 13 into 20 bits. And if I'll convert the multiplication result into your bytes, then the whole thing need to be divided by 8. Answer will be 20480 bytes. So, this is the answer for this one. This one it was also a very interesting numerical. See, do remember whenever we are using direct map cache, whenever you are looking for a block, you need to see only one position. So, searching time is minimal. If it is fully associative, one block can occupy any block in the cache. So, uh, to find a block in the cache memory, I need to see every block in the cache. Searching time will be more. In case of set associative, I need to see only inside the set. So, if it is four, four blocks I have to see. If it is uh, uh, means eight, so eight blocks I have to see. Not the whole cache, right? Not only single position, nor or your the complete cache. So this how we proceed in case of searching of a block in the cache memory. Hope after doing this much numericals, your concept on cache memory mapping is becoming clear. And after this, we are going to start virtual memory concept. Till then, thank you. Keep watching my videos. Have a nice day.